Hello everyone, welcome back again to our channel Codus Arcade. In this video, I'll be talking about one very important concept in Python, which is the match case in Python. Okay, so before starting this video, I would like to request all of you to please like and share our videos if you really like them. And also at the same time, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates. And at the same time, if you have any suggestions for us to bring newer contents to you, you can just post them in the comment section. We will be very happy to bring content of your choice. And thanks a lot for supporting us. So let's get started. As I said, today's topic will be the match case in Python. Okay, so let me go to PyCharm. Fine, let me just give you a brief idea about what is the match case. Okay, so for that, you can see I already have the project here. I will just create a new directory say match case in python okay inside that let me create the python file say match case let me minimize this and increase the font size now what i said i will be talking about the match case in python okay So let me tell you something here. The Python programming language is under constant development. Okay. So with new features and functionality added with every update. So Python 3.10 was released in mid 2021 and comes with structural pattern matching. Okay. It is also known as the match case as I have written here. Okay. So you can also call it as structural pattern matching. Okay. Or you can also say one thing it can be used like the switch case in C language maybe C++ or Java okay so just to counteract that Python has come up with this match case in Python okay so this is Python 3.10s so let me give you the version as well Python 3.10 is the version where match case was introduced so this is the most important feature of Python 3.10 because the new functionality allows us to more easily control the flow of our programs by executing certain parts of the code if some conditions or cases are met. Okay, so let me just give you a brief demo so that you can understand that. Okay, say let me take a variable status code equal to 400. Okay, we already know one thing, right? If the status code is something like 200 or something, then it is good so it is like a green signal something is created something is successful if it is something around 400 something 401 402 404 those are bad requests right and anything with 200 is called good okay so we can take it like this say we have the match keyword you can see here right match status code this is the case that we are taking now here the value stored is 400 so we can take the cases like this now Say case you can see when I write C I'm getting the option case so first case is say 400 then I will simply print bad request okay then another case say 200 this time it will just print good And let me take our default place, which is written like this. You can just see case underscore and with the semicolon. Okay, this is for the default. So if I don't get any proper case, I can just say something else, which is not good happen. Okay, just to make it more meaningful. That's it. So now as you can see, the status code variable has been initialized to the value 400 so here it will say bad request so this is simply a very easy way to implement the switch case that we have in other programming languages like c c plus plus or java okay so here this is the latest thing that came in python 3.10 and here you can see we have the match case this is the proper syntax of writing it we write the match keyword give the variable name and we put the cases under the indentation okay and depending on the scenario we print the messages that we want okay 
so here also we can write something like request so that it is better understood and manageable okay now let me just run this and show you so you can see just because it is 400 it is showing bad request let me change the value let me write say 200 and run this now you can see it is good request because anything that starts with two is a good request right we know that from the http requests and let me write anything else say 100 now it should give this this output okay let me run this okay you can see here something else which is not good happened so this is how guys you can use the match case in python and it will work only in versions higher than 3.10 okay you have to remember that and it is also called structural pattern matching as you can see here you can either call it match case or the structural pattern matching okay i hope you have understood this if you have any doubts or if you have any ideas regarding this how you can implement this you can post your doubts or ideas in the comment section we will be very happy with your ideas and also we will be very happy to clarify all your doubts okay so thank you for watching this video again i will ask you to please like and share our videos and also subscribe to our channel please don't forget that and hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates so thank you this is Saurabh signing off bye bye and happy learning